Hello, greetings, salutations, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play The Witcher 2 with me, Varax, Geralt, and Roach, as we are in... right in front of Novigrad. I hope you all had a good laugh um, at me thinking I was in distant climes or a new, new area entirely. It looks different from this angle, okay? But pretty much, like, 30 seconds after I finished recording, I switched the game off and... It was like, hang on a second. <laughs> and yeah, we're, uh, we're, we're just just north of Novigrad. So, um, in an area that, you know, I haven't really been to, so that's why I didn't really recognize it. Oh, we've got an area over there we can go and see. Um, but yes. Um, um, whoops. So, let's carry on. What time is it? It is, oh, I like how they've done that. Because it's obviously all scripted, right? Um, so you, it, I mean, to be fair, right, it did seem like we we're on the boat for quite a long time because Geralt got knocked out, right, then woke up and met our friend after being knocked out, had a conversation, then there was, like, a gap, and then we had another conversation, and then there was a gap and another conversation, and then, um, and then the, the ship sank sort of thing. So there were a couple, like, like um, ambiguities about how long time had, um, you know, how, how much time had passed. Um, but, um, so I, I did I did think that we'd gone further than what we had, because we, we've literally only like, gone, like, out the docks, and then possibly, like, here, like, here-ish, I guess. That's not very far, is it? I mean, what, like, 10 minutes? So, yeah, um, I think I could be forgiven for, for thinking that I was further than what I was, but I should have maybe spotted that we're at Novigrad because there's Novigrad and we'll be looking at the entire game, but not from this angle. So, um, but yeah, all these things we've seen before. <clears throat> Whoops. Okay, so uh, let's, but it is 4 p.m. Like I was going to say, it's like 4 p.m. And so we've got to get over here at midnight. Um, and so we've got a couple of points of interest to do before that. Oh, okay. Um, so we can hit here, 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 and then go to... Uh, Yantra. Um, which I recognize as the place that I think we ran into two guys there and they robbed me, so this is where that happened. Um, there's also a plot point of interest there, so I might try and see that within the war. I don't know, maybe I'll hug this, um, this coastline, see if I can see a cave over there, but I'm not too worried about that one. Uh, and looking at our quests, we don't really have a little, so I'm glad that I, um, Talk to the herbalist. Oh, that's uh, hard to stay on this. That is what we're doing, isn't it? Okay, let's see where the herbalist is, just in case. Okay, it's further down there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. But still, yeah, our our mission is to go to Yantra. That's what we'll do, and uh, let's go and get on with that right now, shall we? So we can start to see. There you are. Where this... The DLC is going, right? We can start to see the formulation of a main quest. In that we have killed um, the king's son of this far off land. And um, just before they were getting ready to... Um, like, cure the... Uh, the curse of him getting turned into a toad, which I kind of, I kind of liked how they, I, can, I do like how, you know, throughout the, the Witcher series and books, they take a traditional fairy tale and take the main elements of it and twist them into an, into, into something far, far more disturbing. And yeah, we've got some friends over there. <clears throat> there was something else we wanted to check. Oh yes, uh, we leveled up, so let's see if we can uh, get anything with this. So we've got to go down down combat a bit more, couldn't we? Um, so this is fast attack, that's strong attack. I heard, yeah, so whirling um, I hear is pretty good. And having nothing else I particularly want to pursue, I think we will... Um, Acquire precise bro blows and level that up. 
and see what that does. So increase the chance of landing a fast attack critical hit by 6% and fast attack critical damage by 45%. Okay, that's pretty good. And what have we got here? Strong attack damage increased by 25%. Fast attack damage increased by 25%. And then increases strong attack critical damage. All right. <clears throat> so I think we'll leave this for now until we it's on par with these. And then kind of see how we go. And we could look at getting two lots of red. Yeah, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. So hello, beasties. I'm on the way to meet a friend. Hey there. And you guys, level 34, drowned dead, hey? Gather up, guys. Gather up. Oh, hidden treasure, nice. Uh, sword out, no, never mind. Sword? Oh boy, <laughs> yeah, that was actually commented in the things well. Um, <clears throat> I did notice that fairly quickly. That's not even what I'm using, is it? It might do for now. Burning against these guys, actually. Just get my, get my fists out. Okay. There we go. There's definitely more of you. Where are you? Come on. Come on, gather up. Come on, guys. Join the party. Okay, now it's only... Oh, six. Okay, are you ready? Stop. I'm waiting for that, like, massive Igni burst, right? It's looking promising. Looking promising. Go, 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 now. A bit of water. No, 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 I just want to tap that. Tap it. Okay. I think this is dead. Nope. Well, yeah, they are. It's a new one. This it? It is. Brains. Enjoy the show, Roach. Just watching down there, nice and calmly. Drinking seawater. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. <laughs> Just explained quite a bit, though. Alright, so we've got some hidden treasure around here somewhere. Um, Below me. Hmm, so maybe there's a trapdoor in here. Yes, yes. Perhaps, possibly. In this little fisherman's hut. Don't look like a fisherman. But WJ's eyes only. <clears throat> Arrived at a designated location, took care of the knights, sunk their boat, but the leader's causing trouble. Locked him in the cellar till he wises up. I'll starve the fucker into submission. Heading back to Novigrad as soon as we get the goods from Tom Two Teeth. <laughs> so we can expect this leader to still be down there. Yeah, he can't get out. Well, we'll take all this. We need all these broken rakes. Okay, yeah, that's that was relative. Um, yeah, open it, girl. Open it. See how recent that was. Um, yeah. Not too recent. A letter written in blood. Wow. Couldn't you have used, like, um... You wrote all this in blood? <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, you've got torches down here, right? So you could use the soot. Um, and, and stuff like that. You know, you could get some form of charcoal going. But no, no. I'm going to write this. I'm going to write my essay. This is what killed him, right? It's not that he starved to death, no matter what this letter said. I'm starving. No, no, you've you've killed yourself by, by writing this in blood. <clears throat> Brethren, I write to you now in my own blood so that you know that fate, what fate befell me. Following M's orders, I traveled to Novigrad to resupply and sell our latest batch of fist tech. I left men in my command and I bought along uh, with the goods and the coin while I went to the hut on the beach to await WJ's men. When they arrived, it was well after dark, and one of them bought a linen sack on his back. 
This sight did not contain the promised Novigrad crowns. Instead, it held the heads of my men. The scoundrels demanded to know where the fish tech was, but I only told them about the case on the ship, which they will never open without the key. Which I've just got. My choice to slip this into my house shortly before they caught me proved wise. For they searched everywhere else, though they interrogated me harshly. I withheld the truth and said I insisted one of the men uh, they murdered on the ship was carrying the key, and my role was made to negotiate. They wanted to kill me at once, but the captain had another idea at the last minute. They locked me in this precursed cage to wither and die slowly from hunger and thirst. Second day of my captivity, I heard the screams of my captors. I know not whether I, um, I saw true or visions, but it seemed drowners had emerged from the water and were devouring the horses alive. Yet the problem remains that they, the horses, not the drowners, have so securely locked me in that I see no means of escape. Sat here six days now, stopped feeling hunger after the third, my guts having turned in on themselves. I now dream only of drink. I gave all the gold in the world for a sip of water. It could be rank and full of larvae, and I would still would guzzle it greedily. I drank my own urine for the first few days, now I'll longer produce any. I have nothing left, not even hope. The last thing keeping me sane is the task of writing this letter to you. Farewell. From um, Ansel M. That's all well and good, right? <clears throat> um, so this is my issue with... with I, I, there's, there's a general sort of problem with writing in games in that this is not... This is a very well thought out letter, you know, from someone who studied English at a high level and has got a job writing for games. Um, this is not a letter that someone would write after six days without food or water, drink, writing it in their own blood. Um, so... It's just not what someone would do. Um, you know, compose it like a novel. They'll be like, I was you know, double cross, locked in, caged, horse and eaten alive, that kind of thing. Still. And, and, um, Pillars of Eternity suffered from that quite a lot. If I find some, um, water in here, by the way, <laughs> something to eat. Yeah, you could have had that, okay? Cause, right, you could have eaten that. Dog tallow, you could have had that. Ashes, okay, you couldn't have had that, fair enough. Old sheepskin, okay. You have some dog tallow, right? I mean, I know it's... I don't know what tallow is, to be fair. I have no idea what it is, but... Can Geralt eat it? Maybe not. It's alchemy. Yeah, so, I don't know. What is tallow? I mean, it looks like it's edible. It's like a paste. It could be, it could be like their bone marrow or something. You can eat that. Um, but yeah, I, I'm not, you know. Um, but this hell, this 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 light needs a bit of a break. Um. All right, so let's go get the key. Yeah, otherwise, quite a tragic, well um, constructed little scenario. This. So, there's out there somewhere, there is a boat. You stay there. Stop drinking sea water. <laughs> I will check the map, see. In case we need the uh, boat or not, we do. Just by this here island. Let's see what they had. We might as well stay on this boat now as well and hug the side of this island to see if I can see where that um, other of interest is. I think I've looked for it before. I couldn't find it. Be blump. Dive? No? You don't want to dive? I am holding C. There we go. I need to get under here so I can kill these. Wow! Not a one-hit kill? They really have upped the ante, haven't they? Now we get three times as much of this gameplay. View. Thanks for that. 
Books on? No. Come on. Come on. Get, get the... Orientate yourself. Stop moving like a bus. I'm, I'm turning... There you go. Service to buses. There we go. Nothing amazing, but... Ah, uh, nonetheless. Okay. Lovely. Right then. <clears throat> so, yes, we'll just go along here and see. Um, look at your artifacts there, and then we can just head straight north into the woods at this cavern, if we uh, if we can. No great loss. Either way, see ya, losers. It is. Uh, it's getting dark already. The sun is setting. Starting to. These imposing cliffs. A great place to build a city, I think. Very peaceful. This is nice. I like these little moments of, of serenity and calmness that uh, sort of punch away the, the high octane action that we just had. Yes, it's above me. I mean, maybe you're supposed to drop down from the city, but I'm not seeing any caves you can get into. Because you could, you know, the cave could be below the waterline, then you go up into the. Um... I don't want to get out, I just want to have a look. It's up on those cliffs there, isn't it? So you'll probably have to like get down from those cliffs to book Geralt's head and then go down on there. And we got friends under there. Yeah, well. Okay. <clears throat> well, we've got a welcoming committee on shore. That's nice. Right, these are these are that was not a good arc. I turned too late. It's hard to see where you know the incline of the shore under the water though, so forgive myself for that. Alright, two hits, max. I love how you can kick the head around. A bit of beach football. Let's kill these as well for no reason. Apart from the fact that they're there, and it's a hobby, Show not even friend. not even looking. That's just brutal, Geralt. Absolute brutal. It's practically murder. Look at that. They're they're running for their lives. Brutal. All right, being in that cave, so we just head north. Let's just mark it on our map so we don't get horribly lost. Going there, then there, then here. And, yeah, it should be about midnight. We can always rest, of course, when we get there, but we want to get there in plenty of time. There are things in these woods. Oh! the adversary sir I salute you and then take out your hat nothing personal you know it's just uh just business let's have some think of delicious water let's run away call our horse again oh the usual rigmarole of after combat and I feel a calling to the north. I don't know why. I don't know what it might be, but I feel the need to travel north. As the sun sets behind us, ish, you know, not directly behind us, but you know what I mean. It's at our back. Yeah. 
Okay, that's not anything. A track, but he's not on the map. Curious. I like finding stuff like this. We have here. Ah, oh, nice little bird call as well. Oh, you guys with the red shields coming under this handsome tree. How do you wish to die? Get in from the left. Okay, I'll guard my left then. You just told me that. Spells! Spells! Hold ya. Ow! Okay, this is actually going to be a bit difficult. There you go. Get, get that dude. That, 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 dude there. Yeah, him. Oh, your friends have left you. <laughs> How's that feel? <laughs> I didn't like that. Get him from the left. Losing hell. stuff hmm. what else yeah well I'll take it as I remember we've got plenty of uh, yep well not anymore <laughs> so they were hunting deer cooking rabbits yep same traps and stuff just hunting out here nice view of the city cannot um, fault their positioning of, of, of the camp at all Very nice. Come on, Roach. It was a nice little fight. Enjoyed it. Do like the combat. Lots of options as well. You know about the five igni sides. Here you got grenades and yeah, there's, there's a lot of um, options. Neckers, huh? Neckers. That was poor. Happens such a spindly body takes so much damage. Yep, there's one more. Apparently. <laughs> oh, there we go. Hi. <laughs> Just a regular old monster. Just so sheeps and cows and people, so they're raiding the nearby village. Suddenly it's not such a nice evening, but thankfully. Um, we have done our little errands here. 
Strikers surface here, dig their way out. Don't look at it. Don't look at it, girl. Don't look at the explosion. Do not look. She looks. What we got? Necker stuff. Strangely enough, who'd have thought it? All right, eight o'clock. So still got four hours, but nowhere else to go. Yeah, so they're, they're probably raiding like this Grange. So we'll just head south through it and uh, wait till midnight. Come on, you. It's safe. Ugh. So, Geralt, when are you going to notice in your ultimate wisdom that it's raining? Hmm? When are you going to be like, hmm, looks like rain or a uh, storm? You haven't yet. Not quite, not quite, not quite realized yet. Got Novigrad in the distance there, that's awesome. All the lights on. Freaking fantastic. Played this game for 17 million hours and still like, oof, look at that, that's awesome. Still nothing, girl? Still no... Insight into the weather. Okay. Stop now, you missed your chance. Anywhere for my horse? Have we got any, um... Looked like it. No inns or anything. Come on now. Just a quaint little village. Oh, this could be an inn. You go your way. Slow now. Yeah, so it might be. I don't need to use it, of course, but somewhere for Roach to, to chill and hang out and chat. Alright. The kids have come out again to play, so I wonder if we'll hear that um, nursery rhyme again. We'll just uh, chill here by the side of the road. So it's um nine, okay. <clears throat> Wrong way. Okay, yeah, we don't need to it just tells us. Um we'll wait until eleven just in case. Yeah, okay. The twelve might be too late, you never know. I knew you'd come. You a soothsayer? It matters little who I am. Your escape, I made it possible. Previously, Yennefer, you found her thanks to me, so you feel you owe me. Memento you gave me. Pretty effective reminder. That is its purpose. Incidentally, I find it quite funny how even the most rotten scoundrels have this inner compunction to repay Debts of gratitude. Humans, elves, dwarves, all races. You really must explain that to me one day. As for the here and now, tell me, how'd you manage with your theories? You appeared out of nowhere, disappeared just as mysteriously, summoned a storm. Let me guess, you're a mage. Oh, please, no. I cannot stand spells. Childish hocus-pocus. 
It's just not interesting. What I find fascinating are true tales, true human lives, like the one I shall tell you now. It's about a man, worse than most. A vulgar, despicable man with a heart of stone. A man who refuses to pay his debts. Really think this will interest me? Any reason why? He's wronged you as well. His name is Olgierd von Everick. I don't know who that is. <clears throat> I wish I knew who that was, but there's a lot of names and a lot of people in this, and I just don't know who that is. So um, I'll 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 just defer that back to him. What did he do to you? Before I reveal this, I'd like to make one thing very clear: Olgier von Everick did willfully and maliciously conspire to cause you to kill a man who might have been cured. Had I not intervened, you would have lost your head for this. Do you know why he did it? Because he's a degenerate monster in human flesh who feeds on the pain and suffering of others. Well, you clearly don't like him. Oh, he's the what guy. What do, do to you? He we met at the start. A pact. a pact under which I called on my many talents and associates to give him what he desired. And now the time's come to pay. Yet... He shirks his obligation. Need me to collect a debt? I'm not some hired muscle. Muscle is not what this requires. It needs a soul intelligent and clever. An individual who fears no dare. Someone like you. Pure flattery, that. Of course it is. After all, I am a traveling merchant. But make no mistake. I've many interesting wares on offer. Where's like? Surfeit. Abundance for the body and soul. You will lack neither food nor drink. As a witcher, you might desire weapons supreme. I can offer you those you've dreamt of. Your body, agile as never before. Your mind, faster than lightning. Romantic prowess to charm all womankind. But above all, I offer a great, true adventure. An experience like no other, the fate of only the chosen few. Sure sounds generous. And all that for my help with one small matter. Won't want anything else from me? Just one. Honesty. Okay, so the... Olgerd. Or whatever his name is. He was the guy, I guess, who hired us to go and kill the beast, the frog. Um, and I guess he knew it was a, pre uh, a prince and um, kind of set us up, I guess. What did you do for old Geard? Break him out of a cell too? In some sense, yes. I remember that day quite well. It was a light drizzle, yet the cold tore right through you. Old Geard appeared at the break of dawn. Gaunt as a rail, his shirt mothing, seemed to have naught but the sword at his side. It quite pained me to look at him. He asked for help, and help I gave. Made him a rich man, successful, esteemed. He is who he is today, thanks only to me. And yet afterwards, he turned his back, shunned me, sends me off when I dare ask for payment even sicked his hounds on me once. He's thus left me no option but to invoke the terms of our pact. And that is where you come in. Huh. How much does he owe you? <laughs> Gentlemen, don't discuss coin. Need to know the details if you want me to get my hands dirty. How much? A million crowns? Two million? I'm no usurer to lend coin for interest. No. What Olgierd owes me is far more personal than shiny things that clink. As much as I regret it, I can say no more. I must respect his privacy. Hmm. I'm not going to say I'd rather not get involved. Normally I go through all of the uh, dialogue options, but um, has no option, pretty much. This is the main quest. 
Um, so it's a gamer in me, but you know, also I think he'd be pretty interested. So, and yeah, that guy apparently, well, until this dude has set us up. But um, I think Garrett will be kind of interesting to have a little word again to, um, you know, to, to ascertain like why he was set on this in the first place. So, well. What about you? Call yourself a man of many talents? Can't you take care of this? Therein lies the catch. Our pact states that before I can collect my due, I must yet fulfill three wishes for Von Everick. But I cannot fulfill them myself directly, making use instead of a... Mm, how shall I put it? A proxy. Mm -hmm. So what you need is a sucker. What I need is an ally. And something tells me I shall find none better than you. What do you expect me to do? To start with, join me in paying Von Everick a visit. Then, well, then we shall improvise. I believe, however, that all will end well. And once it does, we three shall meet and thank one another for the voyage we shared. Right. Specifics now. Thought Orgeard had three wishes, requests, whatever. Uh, he does. He may ask three things of us. Yet, we won't know what they are until we see him. <sighs> All seems a little shady. Your help, your pact with Olgierd, his three requests. Think it over. I agree you've no a priori reason to trust me. But, as it happens, I was in the right place at the right time to help you. And it's also the case that the same man has wronged us both. To my mind, those are reasons to work together. To my mind, not so much. Come with me to see Olgierd. You shall see he's a vile, dishonorable man who treats the lives of all folk like playthings, as he treated yours when he sent you to find yep, the Frog okay. Prince. It is him. I wish it, like, you know, I didn't assume you knew everything, because I guess gameplay wise, it hasn't been that long. But it kind of has, you know. But yeah, um, so, what, like, maybe five hours in game. Um, longer than that, obviously, IRL. Been been a couple of weeks since I've met him. So, yeah, I didn't know who he was. So, they could have worked into the, the dialogue a little bit of um, the man who sent you to kill the toad. This dude. And then it would be like, oh, yeah, that dude. Yeah, rather than me sort of like having a piece together. Um, just a very subtle little hint to who it is might have been helpful. Um we got there in the end. Well, we'll. Well, I mean, yeah, because Geralt. I mean, Geralt's. I don't know. I'm interested. Could just say no. We're not allowed to. Uh, oh no, we're not. We're not about to. I'm sorry. Mm. Which is curious about where that would go. Um. I mean, Geralt is being manipulated here. I think he knows that as well. Obviously, he's got the mark on his face. That could be. Um, more than just a mark and this guy has helped us twice now apparently though i don't remember the first time at all and um we are kind of curious i think like, right. yes we're gonna do it yeah we're gonna see us fine i'll go see all geared with you but no promises that is all i ask now remove the damn mark naturally just as soon as you complete your task go you will not regret it. We shall meet there. I have a matter to attend to along the way. Mm. Another debt to collect? Perhaps. Ooh, 60 experience points, my god. <clears throat> Evil soft first touchy. So a man's got a heart of stone, right? This DLC is called a heart of stone. So it could be a literal heart of stone, right? He could like literally have a heart of stone. I mean, there was a name drop there, right? Absolute name drop. All right, we could go and see the Herbless Hub. It's all the freaking way down here. It's like a million miles away. So, um, and I, I don't remember the context for that at all.
it's a side yeah it's obviously a side quest it's a single request and it's it's something that we have noticed by a certain um a missing person but that's not really what we're too interested in right now um <clears throat> there's probably going to be like a point where it's gonna say do the side quest sort of thing i don't know but yeah we'll, we'll leave it um Oh, we could have run away from them. Nice. Just reading a bit. Okay, yeah. Beginning of a great adventure. Uh, let's... Wait until morning, though. So I'm going to count this as an inn. There's like, you know... It's not a very popular one. It's just a local one, but... It'll do for um, just waiting around by. Wouldn't be so pale if you ate onions and oil. Thanks for the advice. Thank you. Onions and oil. Just eat oil. I mean, onions cooked in oil. Or, mm, you know. Anyway, I can't help it. Okay, I got plenty of sun. A very subdued morning. How's the work going, good man? Preparing for the harvest and all that? I heard that. Harvest? In springtime? <clears throat> oh. See where this is going. Shaping up nicely. Very intriguing. Which is great. Um, yeah. Maybe should have fast travelled. Have absolutely nothing to say. But yeah, so Geralt's um, doing this because he is kind of curious about why he was sent on this mission in the first place. Whether Olgier knows anything about what was going on. And we do have a debt to pay now. I know it was something that we were um, manipulated into and out of. But... Um, Still, that's not a good thing to have hanging over your head, is it? Like that, like, like the mirror said, mirror dude. Um, people of all creeds do want to repay their debts. It's just something that most folk. It's seven past seven in the morning. Leave him alone. <laughs> You know, but yeah, yeah, most people do want to pay their debts. I don't think Geralt's any different. So yeah, there's a couple of nice story hooks with this. Good, it's important. And of course, we are wanted in a Fire Off Kingdom to, um, you know, they want ahead. So we probably want to sort that out because they could be always sending assassins after us and things like that. Um, and maybe that's something that, that, you know, he would have mentioned to us. I'm going this way, fine. At the time. There we're here. I do believe. So we need to clear our name because we're a, a prince here now. Any truth to it? They starving in Velen. It's on fire. It's on fire. Um, I knew it was. I knew it wasn't. This wasn't his um abode. Me. Those are some What's you've got. Yeah, it's um fire. Well, look who's here. 
The Witcher with the fists of steel. What's new? Got a growth on your platter there. You catch some kind of a theory pox? Could say so. Manners burning, you noticed? That? All right. You know how it is. Feast drags home with plenty of dancing, merrymaking, rough play. <laughs> we got a bit carried away, truth be told. Plain to see. Where's all geared? Damned if I know. Must be somewhere hereabouts. No! Please! I beg you! Shut your trap! <laughs> Let me go! Leave me be! Shut it! I ate with yous! Drank with yous! Fought beside yous! And you'd kill me now! I'm one of yous! You might have been, but not no more you ain't. What's he guilty of? What the fuck's it to you? Not your concern, mate. Tell you what's gonna happen now. I'll ask again, polite like, and you'll answer just as politely. And if I don't? Then I'll get angry, stop talking, and slaughter you all like swine. So what'll it be? Am I gonna hear why you wanna take his head? Or not. Aren't you a thorny prick up the ass? Ataman said to kill him! Got your answer, Abby? Now piss off. We've work to do. Hmm, I'm glad this isn't timed. Geralt looks awesome there. Freaking awesome with the rain and the fire. You know, look just look at him. What a freaking badass. Um anyway. <laughs> I don't know why we would be interested. I don't know why we'd be interested. Really. It could just be that, you know, the dude, like, freaking cheated at cards or something, right? Right? That could be something as simple as that. But I've, I've started down this path now, haven't I? You know, we've already been like, I'm going to kill you. And then he's like... Uh, actually, yeah, I'm not bothered. That doesn't seem to make sense to me. And I think he's kind of on edge a little bit right now. And when he's on edge, he gets a bit grumpy. And when he gets a bit grumpy, he starts killing everyone around him. But we're still... I mean, we started down there, down there, down there. I'm going to kill you all type thing. So... But it wouldn't make a lot of sense to, right? Because we're here to meet the dude who... Uh, that these guys work for so if we kill all these men before we meet him it's probably not gonna be in the right best of minds but it might have been that he's been working this through in his head and he's been set up and um and all this kind of stuff and if he, he thinks he's been playing for a fool and you know he had these suspicions when he walked in he was like this doesn't really look like this is you know the proper lord of the manor type thing um and it wasn't and he kind of feels bad about himself for like getting duped in the first place about taking this quest and now he's in a whole world of trouble he's got um you know he's, he's killed prince and and now he's building some sort of mage trickster sort of dude and yeah so he's maybe a bit annoyed so yeah screw it no you don't let him go oh this is bloody rich can't plow and believe me ears you switch your brains with your cock or something get your mutant with your ass out of here or or I'll kill you! Go ahead. Try. Whoa, whoa. What the bloody hell is this? Geralt, have you decided to play defender of the downtrodden? More like gutter of sons of bitches. Long as I'm here, you'll gut no one. That a challenge? Why not? I've not fought a witcher before. Defeat me and I shall let him go. Stand aside. Okay, then. Would you wait, sir, for the dribble to subside? Makes no difference to me. Just they said. Stunt. Fight. Let the music play on! Oh, okay. Something weird about you, sir. Something very odd. Beautiful. Do it again. 
where's where's the shield? There we go. You think I know by now, wouldn't you? You think I would know? Just, just wait. I'll feel a lot better if this up, this is up. There we go. And then we'll get that. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, concentrating, sorry. <laughs> this is quite a unique fight. You are very flashy. I'm curious about where you learned all this stuff. Quite surprised when you started doing all that, you know. You do not strike you flail. Maybe. I'm still hitting you. Not too late to surrender. Okay, let's have a look at the bombs and stuff we have. What's this? Freezing? Really good. Boys. Ooh, actually, yeah, okay. They both work pretty well. I'm not sure if this it is magic what he's doing. Maybe Ard's going to be pretty good against him. If I can get him with it. <laughs> Die? I thought we were just having a little duel here, right? Nice. Yeah, he keeps... Every time I do that, he moves back. I mean, maybe... He's got, like, quite a lot of invincibility frames. Ouch. Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's really bad. Where is he? Okay. We're just going to play it super, super careful. 
for a little while here. Really careful. Yeah, 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 I am a little bit. I am a tad, yeah. Oh my god, no! Ah, no, I've, I've, I've opened a, a freaking, there we go. Like, um, some sort of, like, overlay interface with my graphics card. That was bad timing. I do not need that. Yeah, I think it's just shield all the time, right? Okay. Boy, okay. I think I'm hitting too quickly, right? When he comes up to me with with that. That should be enough, guys. Come on. <laughs> I'm not going to get him. Hold up. Okay, so we're just going to quickly repair our weapon. <laughs> Makes no sense at all. And, okay, we still have some of these. I don't think the Dimitrium's doing anything, so we can just get fire or whatever. Freezing is not actually doing anything either, so why don't we just get some blinding? Why not? Maybe. Also, got regular swallow. Get out of luck on him. Not one to worry about just yet, I think. Don't join me there. Happy with that. That shouldn't have hit me. Shield up. So remember, <clears throat> remember Dark Souls Greed, right? Remember. We 
Remember Dark Souls Greed. Remember Dark Souls Greed. Remember. Dark Souls Greed. Remember. Oh my god, I did it. I freaking did it. Struck, Witcher. You win. But perhaps you'd care to tell me why you meddled in a matter not yours. I wanted to prevent for the bloodshed. Well, well. The Witcher with the heart of gold. Hmm. Unsavory as it seems, there is a silver line. At least you now know I don't easily lose my head. Release him. <laughs> Getting off cheap, mate. Really necessary, that whole show? Ugh. Show, come now. A man must display some madness from time to time. Helps him feel alive. Dare say you know what I mean. Judging by the mark on your face. Know what this is? I cannot be certain. But I've my suspicions. That's a dangerous man you've chosen to deal with, Witcher. You know, something similar. Though it's more of a scar than a mark. You're immortal. Depends on your understanding of the term. Indeed, I cannot be killed. But it's not at all what folk imagine. Not dying does not mean eternally living your life to the full. So it's a curse? A curse? No, wouldn't call it that. I'll put it this way. You must be careful what you wish for, lest your wish be granted. For there are consequences. Mm. Not sure I follow. You know very little can hurt you. So you take wild risks. Chase extreme sensations. There comes a point you've done it all. It all seems boring and monotonous. The tricks to plough through that moment. Go further. Reach beyond what's known as possible. Killed the beast in the sewers. Congratulations are in order then. Your reward. You're also welcome to take what you wish from the manor house. If anything's left uncharred, that is. Was it a tough fight? I sliced its gut open, and it turned into a man. You know that would happen? Of course he did. He'd never have dragged you into this elsewise. Gaunter or Dim. Come to cast aspersions? No. I've come to collect a debt. You know, you first must grant you three requests by proxy. I present to you my champion, Geralt of Rivia. Not so fast. Haven't agreed to anything yet. But you'll do it. Of that I'm certain. Did you know Orgird was the one to turn the Ophiri prince into a toad? Mm. Did he not mention that bit? Well then. Allow me to tell it. Quite the gripping story. Olgird once loved a beautiful maiden named Iris. Yet, her parents chose to offer her hand to the Crown Prince of Ophir. Olgir grew to hate the poor sot. At first, he wished to kill him. Then decided this would be too simple. So, instead, he condemned the prince to a base life in a toad's bloated corpus. 
Yet he grew bored of watching him suffer and decided to end it. By your hand. Remind me, Odin. Who is to fulfill my last three requests? My assistant, Geralt. Then be gone. I don't wish to look at your face any longer than I must. Come. Where to? The stables. My men are preparing to depart. Could have told me the truth about the toad, having a bit of fun at my expense. I simply wanted the beast dead. I could not know you would respond to the notice. Pure coincidence. Yeah, I must admit, when you, a witcher, answered the call, I thought it right. It's what you lot are trained to do. Might have been able to lift the curse. Perhaps. Perhaps not. Then again, why bother? He was a human being. That bloody Afiri mutt was no human. His kind does not deserve to live. What he said about the prince, that true? You turn him into a toad? Perhaps. Or perhaps the Afiri Dofa ain't something that disagreed with him. You never know with their cuisine. Never heard of food that turns men into monsters. Then perhaps it was something he drank. Hmm. Ah. I cast the curse. Revenge for a deep disappointment. I was another man then. Let rage get the better of me and hollowed the words without ever thinking they could possibly come true. This thing between you and Master Mirror, your quarrel, really rather not get involved. You already are, I fear. He did something for you. Now you've a debt to repay. Am I right? Yes. Well, then you'll not free yourself of him till you've paid it back. But never worry. I shall devise tasks so impossible you will never complete them. Not if you go mad trying. But try your best, and your debt shall be absolved, while I shall live in peace until Master Mirror finds another aide de camp. Hmm. Guess I gotta pop the question directly. What do I need to do for you? Hmm. Let me think. We're currently without a roof over our heads. Perhaps we should start with that. Bring me the house of Maximilian Bossodi. His house? So surprised. But why? I must live somewhere, mustn't I? What's the meaning of this? Second leave of your senses. You mean to mount a filthy horse? Out of my sight, wretch. Know what Vladimir would do to you if he saw? Aye. Vladimir. My brother. There were times he himself stank like foot wrappings three days old, but his mounts always looked fit for a parade. Oh, none rivaled Vladimir at feasting, carousing. Sadly, he's been celebrating less of late. You must find him and show him the time of his life. My second request. Fine, seems easy enough. And the third? Complete those two. Then we shall speak of the third. Any hints? Where I should go? How I might start? You must be mad. I've no intention to make things easier for you. Once I'm done with those two, where will I find you? I cannot know, as my band has planned some diversions. But let us say at the Alchemy Inn, in Oxenfurt. Fine. See you there. The brother shouldn't be too hard, but the house? How am I supposed to bring him a house? Actually, the opposite. I wouldn't worry about the house. The brother will be the tough bit. Uh... Yeah, Geralt's all veiny <laughs> after that fight. Um... 
I think the house, right? I think the house is the manor that we kind of get into. I think that's the house. Uh, the, the big estate thing that's all cursed and, you know, you're not allowed into that. That's that. The brother, I don't know. Um, you waited for me. Nice of you. I could hardly abandon my proxy to the whims of fate. Thought I have to fulfill Olgird's wishes myself. So states the contract. Yet, nowhere does it forbid me from providing help. And something tells me you'll need quite a bit to complete the first two tasks. Borsodi's house. No idea how I'm supposed to bring him that. Hmm. The only Borsodi I know of around here runs an auction house in Oxenfurt. Heard of it. My swords almost got auctioned off there once. Auction was held in Novigrad, though it was a while past. They must have relocated. You just might get an opportunity to ask them why. Fine, I'll go there. Then what? How should I know? Perhaps you'll get inspired once you're there. Oh, and take plenty of coin. I have a feeling it could come in handy. Olgird's brother. Why do you think he'll be tough? I'm That's... afraid he's mm. dead. Mm. Has been for years. Uh, never agreed to necromancy. A necromancy is hardly your only option for reviving a soul. An old-fashioned ritual, a blood summoning. That's what you need. That's like choosing between pestilence and the plague. Sides, I'd need the blood of the summoned. Blood. True. Of the summoned, not necessarily. Here. Where do you get this? Geralt, 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 aren't you the curious one? Assume it to be von Everett blood and get on with it. Hmm. Where'll I find this Vladimir? Geralt, I cannot do everything for you. Use your head. The Von Evericks are well known in these parts. You must have met someone who's heard of the family. The charming redhead, for instance. The medic. Mm. You know the one. Uh, guess it's high time I got to work. A bit more enthusiasm, Witcher. <laughs> you know, you just might enjoy yourself. Yay. Can't wait. Say I need help. Where'll I find you? I shall find you. Mm -hmm. He's got a Batman on you, hasn't he? Yep. Good luck, Geralt. Hmm. Well. There we go. Hello, Roach. Yeah. So I reckon... Yeah, yep. Yeah. There it is. Um, that'll be that'll be it. But we don't go there first. But that, that'll be the house. I think. Right then. Yeah, I thought the, 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 the brother would be dead. He's not been partying too Snowden. much lately. I thought, yeah, 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 he's dead. <laughs> Go enjoy him a good time. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, well, um, I guess we're going to Oxenfurt, right? Pretty much. So we'll do that next time. Um, thank you for watching, everybody. It's been a good one. That was a tough fight. Very tough fight. Probably the toughest fight so far, really. Yeah, Geralt's um, he's not looking too good, is he? He's not looking too good. Yeah. Bless him. Um, I'm sure he'll be fine later. Um, you take care of yourself, guys, and hopefully I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Toodling.